Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about a method which is current time millis, which belongs to our class for this session. Just demonstrate this example. What I will do is I will use a array list just to save some values in that. So let's take an array list with name a equal to new array list. Okay. And in this, what I will do is I will add some elements. So we'll say int i equal to let's say one and let me add some 10,000 elements in this and let's say i plus plus now in order to add the elements we can simply say a dot add and we can pass the value which is i so after this running this loop this array this array list will have 10,000 elements and the elements will be from 1 to 10,000 okay so it will be it will be time consuming right it will, it will take some time so if you run this application so it uh, it says build successfully since we are not printing so yeah but the values are stored but i want to know how much time it took to store the value so what we can do is to know the total time taken by your method what we can do is at the start of the method we can we can check the timing and at the end of the method we can check the timing so somewhere here we'll check the time which is long we'll say start time and after completion, we'll again use a long, we'll say end. Okay. Now to get this time, what we can do is we can simply start at start. Now how to fetch the current time? So we can use system dot. So there's a method called as current time millis. Okay. And at the end also, we can simply say it as system dot current time millis. And after that, we can simply print. We can say here we can specify end minus start, so which will specify the total time taken by your code. And now, if we run this, it says zero. Okay, so let me add some more elements because it's not enough. System is so fast. And now, if we run this, yeah, it's, it says 47 uh, milliseconds. And if I again run this, so anytime you have, you can see here, these are in milliseconds. So how to calculate the total time taken by your code is you have to, uh, at the start you can specify the timing which is current time millis, at the end you can specify current time millis and then you can print the subtraction. Cool. So this is how you have to find the, uh, the total time, right? But let's try to uh, find the actual use of current time millis. So if I remove this and let me again use long, we'll say value equal to. And now if I say system dot current time millis, and let's try to print the value here. So what do you think? What will be the output? Somewhere between some numbers, right? And if you run this, oh, we are getting a very big number. Now what this number is, uh, what this number specifies? So this number here, it is the millisecond. So this is the number of milliseconds from Jan. So it is number of milliseconds, so it will print the millis from Jan 1st, 1970. Okay, so whenever, whenever you say current time millis, it will calculate the total number of milliseconds which are spent from Jan 1st, 1970. Okay, of course you will not believe me, right? So if you go to the documentation of current time millis, so you can see it specifies, it will find the difference measured in milliseconds between the current time and the midnight Jan 1st, 1970. Okay, why this is because maybe uh, the first software or before 1970 we were not using any software. So maybe from 1970 they are going for this. Now you will say, okay, so it is calculating from 1970 just only this number of milliseconds has been spent from last 45 years. Only this number of milliseconds. Let me prove it. So we'll just open the calculator here. We'll say calc. And here let's place this value. So we have this big value, right? Now just to check the number of uh, seconds spent here, we can divide by 1000. So this uh, these are the number of seconds which has spent from that time. Uh, to find the number of minutes, we'll divide by 60. So these are the number of minutes. To find the number of hours, we'll divide by 24. So Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, let's try, let's do it again. So this is the number. 
So to find this uh, seconds, divide by 1000. To find minutes, divide by 60. To find hours, divide by 60. And to find the number of days is divided by 24. I'm drawing here, I made a mistake. So again, divide by 1000, okay, divide by 60, divide by 60, divide by 24. Okay, so these are number of days. Uh, let's divide by 365, and this is number of years. So 45 years been spent from that time, and yes, it is right. So these are the number of milliseconds we have spent from 1970. Okay, so that's the use of this. Uh, current time milis uh, method which belongs to a class which is system. Okay, so that's it from this video. Uh, so do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.